Yeah, I want to send this out to all my people out there, especially all my underdogs out there. I want y'all to keep y'all head up. I want y'all to keep working hard. Even if it seems like nobody's supporting, even if it seems like it's not going to work, you got to know that it is going to work. You just can't quit. Me, myself, I embrace being the underdog. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to create new ideas. I wouldn't be able to trust in myself. I would be too scared to try anything new and just do what everybody else is doing or copy somebody else. So I got so much respect for the underdog. It's who I stand for, who I represent, and who I defend. And as an underdog, one thing we understand is we don't base our results on people's thoughts or their reactions. See, we already know it's people out there that can't form opinions of their own and they just go with what everybody else thinks. People can be so weak-minded that they're scared to like something unless somebody else is liking it or unless it's cool to like it. And see, underdogs push through all that silly shit. Instead of wondering or being concerned what other people think, we look at it thinking, what does God think? And we get our answers simply by paying attention to how God is doing this. Do I live in a decent place? Am I in decent health? Are my kids okay? Are my bills paid? Am I mobile? Do I have income? Do I have peace? And if you answer yes to any of those, then you have God's rewards. Something people just cannot give you. If I based whether I continue doing this on the feedback of others or the views or anything else, I would have quit this a long time ago. So it's okay to be the rejected stone because soon the rejected stone will become the cornerstone. So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 So you're a philosopher? Yes. 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 yes.